got a question from Chris. Um, my question is, which exercises should I have my wife, who is new to strength training, focus on during a 40-day easy strength program? Yeah, a vertical push, a vertical pull, a deadlift, ab wheel, uh, suitcase carry, go for a walk. My wife is 41, very active. We walk every day and hike in the Wasatch Mountains almost every weekend. Chris, why don't you just come by the house and ask me? I, I live right, the Wasatch is right two discus throws that way for me, okay? Uh, some She does some hit style classes with online training during the week. She got into it during COVID. She does either body weight or very light dumbbell work ranging from 5 to 15 pounds. I offer join her. I often join her for these quick hit workouts. They're usually straightforward and simple for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. However, she has noticed that she as she works through these programs, the strength requirements escalate faster than she can keep up. Primary example, the push-up. These online these online trainers shake your finger like that. Expect her to go from kneeling plank to full push-up in four weeks with no clear strength progression. Well, that's welcome to the world of trying to fit square pegs into round holes. That's why at Dan John University on the workout generator, we offer you so many issue, uh, uh, options for pushes. And I've worked with people for years who couldn't do a push-up. And then I've worked with other people who are like, yeah, uh, females. Oh, yeah, I can do how many do you want? I can do a million. And it's like, it. again, we're getting back to genetics and geography. You know, if she played on a team as a kid that every time, you know, you did something, coach said 10 push-ups, she'd probably be pretty good at push-ups. If, uh, if she was built slightly different uh, in certain ways, push-ups might be extremely easy for her, okay? Um, my wife has realized this and is getting frustrated. That's why she agreed to join me in a 40-day easy strength program. I dropped hints along the way. But she never outright oh never outright suggested it. I've gained a little little wisdom in this life. Ha ha ha. Well, um, so it's not going to help you. But when I have women do two sets of five in the overhead press, and I don't care if it's dumbbell, barbell, machine, I don't care. And then like either just straight arm hangs, or yeah, straight arm hangs are the best for most women at first. And then rack deadlifts, the ab wheel, and I said far and walk, it could be swings, I mean, it doesn't matter. That over time, the, the fact that they're doing it five days a week uh, seems to really help them accelerate their strength gains. Um, I mean, we know from the research from the 1940s that women, um, you know, it's, it's actually just basically concentric circles. Women can get 80% as strong as men in certain lifts like the squat and uh, if, if we put straps on the deadlift uh, as you move out it drops and then we get to this here women are only 55 percent as strong in the finish of the shot put okay um, so that's why when we work with young shot female shot putters you got to spend so much time with lighter balls and throwing it down on the ground um, the, the shot putter I'm working with right now she uh it's interesting to watch, and it's clear to me that she has got herself up to very good levels uh, in her upper body strength because she's she has a radically different technique now. Not only is she throwing farther, but the way she finishes it. So when she does the presses and the hangs, the overhead press and the hang, we are going to help her long term with her strength gains, okay? Gosh, I hope that helps. And uh, you sound like a good guy, Chris. And I live here just in Murray, if I can ever be a service. Thank you.